Fancy, where are you? Yeah, this is Louise. No, Paloma, I haven't found her yet. Well, I'm hoping one of my contacts comes up with something. Yes, I'll let you know as soon as I hear something. No. No, there's nothing that you can do. Uh, you know what? On second thought, do me a favor, will you? Get in touch with Sheridan. Just check and see if everything's OK. All right. Spike who fancies after, which means Spike has fancy. He killed the night, he shot Pilar. He could kill fancy too. What the hell am I gonna do? If I tell them where fancy is, my involvement with Spike comes out, then I lose Sheridan for sure. If I say nothing, fancy could die. My God, what am I gonna do? Not if I can help it. Help me! Somebody please help me! I gotta get away. I gotta find a way to get out of here. And where the hell do you think you're going, you little slut? You're gonna be very, very sorry you did that. Very sorry. Hey, people have been really hard on you. Yeah, but I deserve everything I get, Fox. I knew about your mom's plot to, to break up my parents' marriage. And I didn't tell anyone. Okay, you were upset with your mother at the time. Right, you, you wanted to punish her. Yeah, but it was wrong. Everyone hates me, and they should. I should have told my dad. I shouldn't have let it go on this long. Well, I, I can't believe that my mother did it. You know, that she hired some guy to pretend to be Grace's first husband, take advantage of, of her amnesia. <sighs> God, I, I never thought my mom could be so devious. I'm sorry. I know this is probably really painful for you, too. I just don't want to lose my family. I mean, my dad hates me. Jessica hates me. Noah hates me. And Miguel. Hey, he'll get over it. I, I don't hate you. I love you as much as I always have. But I still think about Miguel. Hey, I love you so much. But I understand why you did what you did. Thanks, honey. I'm glad someone's on my side. Always. And I'm not just someone. I'm the man you're going to marry. Mm. Oh, no. What? What? What is it? My mom. My dad is going to tell her what Ivy did, and I, I'm sure he's going to tell her that I knew and I didn't say anything. Oh, my God. She's going to hate me, just like everyone else, and I'm sure she's going to make sure that they keep hating me forever. Shh, hey, that is not true, okay? Listen, from what I've heard about Grace is that she's very caring and forgiving, all right? Yes, she's going to be upset at you, Kay, but you're her daughter. All right, eventually, she's going to forgive you. I don't know, Fox. Oh, God, I hope you're right. Of 
Grace, I understand that you're upset. Upset? You want to see upset? Because I am coming back to Harmony on the first flight I can get, and I am warning you, I will kill you. You, you don't mean that. How do you expect me to feel? You destroyed my marriage. You tore apart my family. You took my husband from me. You even lied to me about poor John and made me believe that he was my son. I know. What I did was horrible, but I did it out of love. Grace, you know that Sam was my first love, my only true love. Are you actually trying to excuse what you did? No, no, there's no good excuse for what I did. I just honestly thought I could make Sam happier. You are a lying, conniving, selfish bitch, and you are gonna pay for what you did. I am going to tear you limb from limb. I'm gonna make you sorry that you ever decided to mess with me. Okay, I need you to go out there to the bar and check and see if Teresa's still here. Well, why me? Why don't you go on out because there? Because you are a bar fly, okay? It will be far less suspicious if Teresa sees you out there alone. We need to find a way to get JT out of here so Teresa doesn't see him. That's right, because she would be ticked off to know I'm still in town after all the money she paid me to leave. I told you, I told you I'm gonna pay you more than whatever Teresa gave you, a lot more, okay? If you tell me what her secret is. Oh, it's a doozy. Yeah, it must be, because all she's ever cared about for years is getting Ethan away from me, and now when she could easily get you to tell him we were the ones who emailed your tabloid about his paternity. Well, I know, Gwen, Gwen is right. I mean, I mean, she could just destroy her marriage in a heartbeat. But no, now all she cares about is keeping you and Ethan apart. Why? Yeah, I mean, it must be huge, whatever it is, for her to walk away from her chance to finally be with Ethan. Yeah, and you are gonna tell us what it is, aren't you, sweet me? Uh-huh. After you both pay me more money than Teresa paid me to keep quiet, and I will tell you everything you want to know. Teresa. Honey, you can't give up now. Ethan just told you that he would leave Gwen. If JT had absolute proof that Gwen and Rebecca were the ones who set him up, you could finally be with Ethan. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Whitney. I mean... I have had my heart broken so many times. I mean, so many times. I thought for sure Ethan would leave Gwen to be with me and then something always happens to stop him. Yeah, but nothing's gonna happen. No, we, we can't really say that because we don't know that for sure. Okay, okay, what? What could happen? Ethan is not gonna stay with Gwen once he finds out that she's been lying to him for years. Whitney, I know how much he values his marriage. And the church teaches forgiveness. So what if Ethan decides to forgive Gwen and stay with her? And if JT tells Ethan that little Ethan is actually his son, what's to stop Ethan from taking him away from me? I still think you're being paranoid here. Ethan knows how much it would hurt you to lose your son. Well, what if he's so angry with me for keeping such a huge secret that he decides to take him from me out of spite? I don't think he would be that vindictive. Okay, what about my son's future? It comes out he's not a crane. He loses his inheritance. Yeah, but you know what? He would have his father. And I know how important that is. But Ethan and Gwen already took Jane from me. I'm not gonna lose my son, all right? I'm giving up, I'm giving up on ever being with Ethan. Grace, what can I say? I, I'm sorry. You are only sorry because you got caught. And believe me, being sorry is not gonna buy you one more minute to live. My face is going to be the last thing that you ever see because you are dead, dead. Uh, Grace, you don't mean that. You're not a killer, you're a kind, forgiving woman. You expect me to forgive you? <laughs> After you put me and my family through hell, what do you expect me to do? Bake you a tomato soup cake and call it a day? You are crazy, Ivy. And you are going to pay. And I mean dearly. Grace, please. Oh, shut up, Ivy. Get off the phone. I want to speak to my husband. She wants to uh, talk to you. Listen to me. I want you to get your things and get out of my house by the time I get home. Do you hear me? Grace, I'm, uh, look, I'm so sorry this happened. My mom is gonna come home, Fox. 
once my dad tells her what Ivy did, she's gonna come home, and I'm gonna have to face her. Yeah. Yes, you're gonna have to face her. How can I even look at her? I knew all these horrible things that were happening to her, and how much pain she was in, and how confused she was, and I said nothing. Hey, you were young. All right, I'm sure you didn't plan on ruining your mother's life. <laughs> at the time, I didn't care. That's what's so horrible. She, she, she was just so hard on me. She never understood me, and I wanted to punish her. Oh, my God, she's going to be worse now than she was then. Hey, you're an adult now, okay? You're not living under her roof anymore. Yeah, but I know she's never going to forgive me. You're her daughter, okay? Eventually, she will forgive you. I mean, can you picture staying mad at Maria? No, but my relationship with Maria will be completely different when she's a teenager. Hey, your mom's your mom, and she loves you, all right? Eventually, she'll forgive you. But Miguel won't. Honey, I don't see Teresa out there. I think it's safe. Oh, good. We can't even chance that she's going to see him. Oh, that would definitely be bad, because she might want her money back. JT, is that all you think about is your money? Oh, Bex, you knew better than that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. You know, uh, Gwenny, why don't you go out there and make sure it's safe? Uh, JT and I have something to discuss. Okay, you're unbelievable. I mean, really. Honey, look, we want to keep him happy, right? Because if JT gets bored, he could walk. Okay, fine. You keep him happy. I will just go check myself. <gasps> Where were we? <laughs> I think about here. Ah! <laughs> be quiet. Be quiet. No one can know you're in here. Okay, we'll be quiet as mice. Not even a squeak. <laughs> <laughs> when do you get too old for this kind of thing? Listen, just be quiet. I'll be right back. I thought she'd never leave. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, I really can't believe what I'm hearing. You know, I tried to convince you to forget about Ethan all those years because I knew he was never going to leave Gwen. But now, now I think he really will. And you're ready to give up. I know. Crazy, isn't it? Too much has happened, Whitney. Well, I'm going to agree with you there. A lot has happened. You know what I just found out? Ivy deliberately destroyed Sam and Grace's marriage. What? Yeah. Ivy hired David to pretend to be Grace's first husband. The whole thing, it was just a lie so that Ivy could get back with Sam. I don't believe it. And the worst part about the whole thing is that my mother helped Ivy pull it off. Your mom? Tell me that's not true. I wish to God it weren't. But the reason I'm telling you all of this is because don't pass up a chance to spend the rest of your life with the man you love. Oh, Whitney, I know what you're saying, but I can't. Yes. Teresa, yes, you can. Look, you know what? You know I like Jared, okay? He's a great guy and everything, but he is not the love of your life. Ethan is. I know. Trust me, I know. Okay, well, then stop being silly and just go for it. Tell Ethan the truth. Tell Ethan the truth about his son, tell him about Gwen and Rebecca, and tell him you're tired of waiting to be happy with him. If I knew that he would actually leave Gwen, I would. He told you he would. Now listen, don't you think Sam and Grace would give anything to get the years back that Ivy robbed them of? Don't let Gwen take any more time from you. I, look, I... I'm scared. Well, just stop it. Stop being scared and just go for it. Tell Ethan the truth. Tell him that you're ready to start living your life together. What are you waiting for? God, Fancy, where the hell are you? All right, come on, Luis, thank you. All right, she ran out after someone outside of Sheridan's cottage. I know, Chris.
Force has got something to do with this. If I don't find Fancy soon, I'm going back to the cottage to get some answers out of him. Please, God, let Fancy be all right. Fancy, I'm gonna find you wherever you are. Yeah, Lopez Fitzgerald. Is one matching Fancy's description seen where? All right, I'm on my way. Please don't hurt me. Come on, baby, relax. You might just like it. You pig! Oh, this is gonna be fun. I might keep you around for a while. Damn it! Yeah. Spike, don't say my name. Just tell me. Do you have fancy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got her. You gotta let her go. What are you nuts, man? No way. Let her go. You've gone too far. Things are spinning out of control. I know that. That's why I'm taking care of it. But I'm gonna do it my way, okay? What, what do you mean? Don't kill her, Spike. Do not kill her. Well, I'm just gonna have some fun first. <laughs> no, you fool. Just let her go. Luis and the whole police force are looking for her. They will find you, and you won't stand a chance if you've heard her. Well, I ain't worried. Because by the time they get here, I'm gonna be long gone. Get where? Where are you holding her? Don't you worry about it, okay? You just chill. Oh, man. Damn it. Bats. What was that noise? A bat? No, things just creep me out. <sighs> I'm not surprised this bat's down here don't so damn cold and clammy. You know what? Here I am being so rude. I got a guest here. Gotta go. Spike. Spike! I gotta find him before he does something stupid. I gotta find Fancy when there's still time. You are my passion all life. Grace, when are you coming home? Try to get the first flight I can get, and I'll call you with the details. Great. I'll pick you up at the airport. Thank you. And Sam, I am so sorry. Grace, you have nothing to feel sorry about, OK? None of this was your fault. You were lied to. We were all lied to. Yes. You know, I can't wait to be in your arms again. I, I can't wait to see you again. And, and to see the kids again. <laughs> I can't wait to see Noah and Jessica and Kay. Sam, is something wrong with one of the children? Well, you, you already know about Jessica. Oh, my God. Sam, my heart just breaks when I think about the torment that poor child's been through. And it's all my fault. You know, if, if I had been there, she never would have taken up with someone like that Spike. Grace, it's not your fault, OK? Now stop blaming yourself for any of what happened. But uh, I, I got to tell you something else. Something else about one of the kids? Yeah, uh, it's about Kay. And I think you better sit down again. You think you hate me, Grace? Wait until you hear about your own daughter, Kay. She knew all along what I was doing, and she never told you. 
She let me destroy your marriage. She let you leave her father for a man she knew wasn't your husband. <laughs> So far, so good. I don't think Teresa's here. Please, God. Please, God, just help me out just this once. Just let her be gone. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm not gonna do it, Whitney, until I know for sure that Ethan would actually leave Gwen to be with me. And I know that he said he would. You know, if I find JT and JT tells him the truth. Didn't you pay JT a lot of money to disappear? I did, I did. And I don't even think I could find him. Well, look. You know what? You found him once. You can find him again. Just, just go for it, okay? No. Okay. What about my son's inheritance? I mean, if it comes out that that little Ethan is not a crane and he loses everything. Okay, wait, wait. Let me, let me get this straight. You're willing to give up your own happiness for money? No, it's not about the money. Okay, this is my son's future. We're talking about this. This is his legacy. I married Alistair Crane. I put up with his, his evil, his disgusting hands all over me for little Ethan. Wait, no, no, actually, you didn't. You married Alistair because he promised you that he would keep Ethan away from Gwen, but he didn't do that. Now, don't go rewriting history here. Little Ethan doesn't need that money. That's Crane money. It's cursed anyway. It's not going to make him happy. If anything, it's going to destroy him. No, I will not let that happen. I don't really see how you can stop it. I mean, look what's happened to you. Before you became Mrs. Alistair Crane, you wouldn't let anything come between you and your dream of being with Ethan. Whitney, it is not about the money. I am terrified that I'm going to lose my son. Now, you know what that's like. You were apart from Miles, and it nearly killed you. Yes, it did. And you know what? I thank God every day that I have them back. You see, I know how happy I am. And I know how happy you would be once you and Ethan get back together with little Ethan and Jane. But see, what you're telling me is you just want the money. No, I, that's not what I'm telling you. Yes, yes it is. You're giving up a chance of happiness with a man you love for money. You're letting money come between you and your dream. <sighs> damn it, damn it, they could come out of there any second. How am I supposed to get JT out of here? That's what my contact said he saw fancy. More for me. I didn't do anything wrong. Turn around. Put your hands on your head. The hell, you're not fancy. In this neighborhood, who is? Uh, damn it. Listen, I've never done this yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, go on. Just get the hell out of here. Hey! Where's my money? Oh, God. Fancy's still out there. God only knows where. Genius. I just thank God I found the right one. Now you gotta let her go. Oh, I'm just going to jail. No way. Well, did you see your face? I don't know, but I ain't gonna take that chance. I ain't gonna get rid of her. Just 
You know, she's unfinished. No. No way, damn it. Who's there? Help me. I'm fancy gray and I have a lot of money. I'll give you whatever you want. Just please help me. <laughs> Oh, God, Bex, you are a tigress. <laughs> I can barely keep up. Oh. But I think I'll get recharged when I meet the donkey. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't even want to know what is going on here. Uh, no, honey, no, you, uh, you don't. So, um, <clears throat> well, is uh, Teresa still out there? Is it safe? What you find out? Yeah, she's still here. She's in the powder room with Whitney. If we try to leave now, we may run into them. Oh, well, honey, I guess we're just going to have to find some way to amuse ourselves. Oh, oh, Bex, I am beat, honey. Besides, I can't stick around too much longer. You cannot leave Harmony until you tell us what we want to know. Honey, I'll be glad to tell you since you show me the money. We are going to show you the money, but first we got to get you out of here so Teresa doesn't see you. Okay, so why don't we try going out the kitchen? Tempest Fugit? Okay, well, look, the club, the club's pretty packed. Maybe we can sneak you out back, but you have to walk between us and you have to stoop down. Ooh, 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 yes, I get it. It's a Gwen and Rebecca sandwich on the meat. Oh, my God, you have a one-track <laughs> mind. Oh, I know, and isn't it wonderful? Will you please be serious? Now, listen, once we get you out of here, I'm going to take my grandmother's jewelry to the pawn shop. You're going to have your money, okay? It sounds like a plan. You know, I still don't know why my mother left you all her jewelry and not me. Well, let's just be grateful that she did. Now, let's go and remember that my marriage, everything that I care about is riding on this. Okay. Teresa, honey, I know you. Look, you're my best friend, and, and I know that you are not a quitter. So don't quit now. Don't give up on your dream, honey. Not when it's so close to coming true. You know what? You're right. You are absolutely right. I have been letting the crane money just, just fog my brain. I've been worrying about little Ethan's inheritance instead of what's really important. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, no. yes, yes. No amount of money is more important than love. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, you are my best friend. Thank you just for, you know, for like waking me up. I mean, I am like right here. I'm going to go find JT. JT's going to tell Ethan the truth. He's going to tell him what those two witches did. I'm going to blow them away. He's going to tell Ethan that little Ethan's really his son. I knew it. I knew you were still in there somewhere. Yeah, I'm right here, and I'm going to get Ethan back. When your father told me what you did, I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. I know, Mom, and I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Because somehow, like Ivy, I think you're just sorry that you got caught. No, no, I am really, really sorry. I was mad. I was stupid. I would give anything to go back and change things. You know, I, I wish I could believe you, Kay. But all I see is a girl who's so selfish, so wicked, that she would see her family destroyed just because she was angry at her mother. You're right, that, that's, that's who I was, Mom, but I'm not like that anymore. I'm different, I've changed. I have a daughter now, and I know what it's like to love someone so much, and I would forgive Maria for anything. Mm, then you're a better woman than me, Kay, because I just can't find it in my heart to forgive you. I don't think I can ever forgive you for all the time that I lost with my family. No one's ever gonna forgive you, especially Miguel. No, he loves me. <laughs> No, he doesn't. Now that he knows how evil you are, he couldn't love you. Look, he loved Charity because she was a good girl. She never would have done what you did. I know that, Mom. You know, Miguel should be with someone who deserves him. I'm going to go find Charity and bring her right back here to Miguel. Right back here to Miguel. I know, Grace, look, it's hard for any of us to believe. You must be wrong, Sam. I mean, if, if Kay really knew about Ivy's scheme, she would have told you even if she didn't want to tell me. 
She didn't say anything, Grace. She let Ivy destroy our marriage, destroy our family. Oh my God, Sam, our own Kay. Our own daughter did this terrible thing deliberately. I'm afraid it's true. And you know, you know what, frankly, I'm still in shock. Oh, Sam. I, I, you know what, I can't even look at her. Because I'm afraid I might say something I'll regret. I know, sweetheart. Look, I'll be home soon. <sighs> Grace, I can't wait for you to get home, okay? I, I love you. I love you too, Sam. More than you'll ever know. And you know what? I'll, I'll be back on the next flight I can get. I'll be home soon, and you and I can start putting our lives back together. I love you so much, Grace. I, I never stopped loving you. Never. Are you nuts? Huh? You want to get us both sent to prison? I am not going to let you kill her. Well, how are you going to explain you being here with me? You don't think Luis is going to be able to put two and two together when Fancy tells him? Come on, wake up, stupid. Luis has been trying to pin something on you to take away your wife. Now, is that what you want? To lose that precious Sheridan to Luis? <laughs> You know damn well who this is. Mom. <laughs> I'm I'm still in shock over what you've done. But I I had to call you. I had to hear it from you. You really did help Ivy destroy our family, didn't you? Mom, look, I I didn't mean Yes, you did. Now, I knew you were angry at me, Kay, but I had no idea that you could be this evil. You're a monster. Mom, I know it was wrong, and I'm sorry. Yes, it was wrong, but it's too late to be sorry. You are no longer my daughter. You are a heartless monster, and I hate you. I wish I had never given birth to you. Why are you still here? I told you to go home, pack your things. I want you out of my house. Grace is coming home, and I don't want her to see one shred of evidence that you were ever there. Do you understand? I just hope that JT didn't use the money that I gave him to go on some kind of world cruise. But you know what? If he did, Whitney, I will find him, and I will drag him back. Good for you. Now you're talking like the girl I know. Yes, I'm going to use the crane money while I still have it to nail Gwen and Rebecca. It's just ringing. It's just ringing. GT's phone's Whoa. just ringing. Just try again, you know, just keep trying. Okay. Oh, I hope he's still in harmony. Wait a minute. That's JT's cell phone ringing, Whitney. Oh my God, he's in the club. He's in the club? JT, turn that thing off. Oh, 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 sorry. Look, look, when, we, when we get out there, we're gonna rush the back and we're just gonna pray to God that Teresa doesn't see us. Right. You're too late. Oh. Oh. Yep, JT, you're not going anywhere because I've changed my mind. I'm gonna fight for you. You know, you're insane. Just give it up. No, I'm gonna blow you and your mother right out of the water. JT, you're gonna tell Ethan everything, and this time, I'm gonna win. Yeah, it's Luis. Any word on fancy? No, my lead didn't exactly pan out. Yeah, I'll check in if I hear anything. See ya. Hey, where are you going, handsome? I may not be fancy, but I'm real good at what I do. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you are. Go on, get out of here before I call my buddies and vice. <sighs> Damn it. Nancy, what the hell happened to you? Where could she be? Mm. 
Look, she doesn't have to see either one of us. We'll just take her up to the park, leave her there, blindfolded and tied up. Someone will find her, and when they do, we will be nowhere in sight. Uh, yeah, if she didn't see my face. If she did, I'm going to jail. You know what, I could kill you myself for this. Now, you ain't killing anybody, okay? You need me to get us out of this. Come on. Dirt. She's gone! Just let her go. We can get out of here. No one will know that we were even here. Not if she saw my face, okay? Now, come on, let's go find her. Right. Oh my gosh, she fell down there. Oh, well, I guess we ain't got nothing to worry about now. There's no way she could survive that fall. Fancy's dead, man. And we are in the clear. Bastard. <laughs>